Kamigawa Neon Dynasty products are available for pre-order now at CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code CGB5 and you'll get a 5% discount on your order and a sweet Covert Go Blue Wolf token for free. Pre-order now at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me, it's CGB, and today is the second day in the battle for the channel, where I release an alchemy video and a standard video on the same day, and we pay attention to the watch time and the action on the likes, the comments, and the YouTube memberships for both videos. So if you enjoy alchemy, you've come to the right place. This is the alchemy video for the day, and if you prefer standard, the standard video should have posted at about the same time. It should say standard in the thumbnail and the title like how obvious do i need to make it i i can't make the thumbnails blink i don't think I, like what am i supposed to do anyway anyway this is the alchemy video and today we're playing esper hollowed haunting in both formats and in alchemy esper hollowed haunting has a few differences and advantages over the standard version but let's first start by talking about the deck itself. This is an almost all enchantments deck built around the card Hollowed Haunting. This mythic doesn't see much constructed play, so you may not have seen it, but it's two and a white white, and as long as you control seven or more enchantments, creatures you control have flying and vigilance. Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, create a white spirit cleric creature token. With this creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of spirits you control. And just it's kind of a little shark typhoon. It also encourages you to play a, a, a style of like tap out deck. <clears throat> so what I've tried to create today, <clears throat> voice, my voice is like in jeopardy or something. Maybe it's the two intros, two outros a day thing. It's only day two. I'll take good care of it. Don't worry. Anyway, we what we have is like a tap out control deck that tries to shut down most of what the opponent does and then play Hollowed Haunting and then start generating value off of every card that we play that also shuts the opponent down, eventually overwhelming them with a very powerful board full of spirits. So when we look at the card selection, we've got cards like Borrowed Time and Circle of Confinement because those are enchantments that come down and take the opponent's creatures out. Very, very cool. We have Meat Hook Massacre, which is a sweeper on an enchantment, and we have Doomscar. So Doomscar being the only non-enchantment card in the deck, most of the cards that you're going to suggest in the comments are enchantments, so I'm not going to run them, but I think there's room just for some Doom Scars. And for this card, Faithful's Disciple, this is one of the cards for alchemy that we get to play in alchemy for the deck that's actually really good for it. Because when Faithful Disciple dies, you draft a card from the spellbook. The spellbook is 100% enchantments. And the one that you see right there at the front, Anointed Procession, Anointed Procession and Hollowed Haunting, basically doubling your tokens, is an absolute banger. It also doubles your tokens from Wedding Announcement and Raven's Warning. So that's like just one of the many awesome hits. You'll see some excellent, I, I'm not going to go over every card in the spellbook, but you're going to see some excellent Faithful Disciple content in this particular video. Another card that we use in Alchemy that we don't use in the standard version is Ray of Frost, because dragons and werewolves can just freaking shut up and sit in the corner and get frozen, man. Uh, we need it. First of all, it's a flash card, so it's an instant speed enchantment, something we otherwise do not have in the deck. We could run Vanishing Verse, but it's not an enchantment, so it doesn't work with Hollowed Haunting when the time comes for that. But Ray of Frost on a gold span dragon can tap it down and take away its ability before it even creates creates a treasure and it works really good on all manner of dragons and reckless storm seeker and other various werewolves so the the card is actually I think pretty important specifically for the alchemy version of the deck Miyok massacre we talked about there um, wizard class we have a distinct advantage over the standard deck because wizard class only costs three blue or three mana for level three whereas because it was one of those buffed alchemy cards from the first round in case you missed it it's cost five mana for level three and standard it costs three mana here strictly better and it's our card advantage card in the deck we also have this warlock class here so we have some cheap enchantments to play along with a slightly lower curve than the standard deck because we have faithful disciple circle of confinement and ray of frost as our two drops and um yeah uh, alchemy in general is a much more snowball-y kind of fast ish format ish 
I'm going to say fast-ish because it's not like the aggro decks are good because of the Blood Artist decks. It's that if you don't stop the Town Razor Tyrant or the Reckless Stormseeker or the Rahilda very quickly, everything gets out of control. You may not die as quickly, but it definitely spirals out of control. So we need the cheaper curve, I think. And then um, we're also looking at the power of wedding announcement to kind of grind us through games. And it, it, it's a bizarre deck, but I kind of like it. And I, you're really going to want to see some of the games in this video. I Look, I'm try, I'm going to try not to be biased, but I can't control which which deck gets the better games. I, there is a game here that is just better than anything that we got to play in the standard video, so just the way it is. I can't, I can't control that. Anyway, let's dive in. Let the alchemy, let the alchemy hollowed haunting begin. I don't know. We'll try it. If I just lose like two or three games, I'll just make a video with what I already had. I was kind of rolling for a bonus anyway. Man, I don't remember where I stopped and started. Like half an hour. Hold on. I don't know, man. Not sure. Have to figure it out tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to put the frost to the test. Pew, pew, ray of frost, bitch. Okay. Okay. It's supposed to be nice here, right? I mean, it's just... <sighs> Man, how much of this how much of this can a human being take per day? Alright, um Wizard or Warlock. Warlock might be activated next turn, Wizard might be activated the turn after that. I think I want black on the board. So we'll go warlock. Didn't take me long to find a red deck with my Ray of Frosts in the deck, did it? Jeskai? Welp. It's all the same. Blue, this is white, this is fine. Uh, we want white, though. Darn it. It's kind of a... Mmm. Okay, being on the draw here is really bad. If I put this on white, then we don't have a blue, potentially. But maybe I'll find it with Warlock class. This is the only thing we're circle of confining, and the only good time to do it is now. We have to do it. If we were on the play, that's just an easy meat hook massacre. Stupid orb. Alright, another ray. Let's see if we can find a blue source. Okay. Good stuff. Townraiser Tyrant? Because will we ever play someone who doesn't have it? We will! We'll play a Moonvale Regent. Man, they missed the land drop. I am so tempted to take the orb. I'm so tempted to hit that orb and hope to mana screw him, but that that can backfire badly. Make him have another. I'm trying to have the ray available because it's cheaper and this uses more mana this turn. I'm try gonna try to have the ray later, like for their gold span dragon. Okay. Five mana, so we, because we drew that land and because we only have one blue, we want to play Wedding Announcement, Hold Up Ray. White, white, black, black. This is going good. This is going okay. We've got a chance against dragons. What more can you ask for? And hopefully these Ray of Frost are just going to tilt them into oblivion. They're going to be like, who runs that card? What animal? 
would main deck anti-red in alchemy. Man, sometimes they just really want to cast those, don't they? Shut it down! Ray of Frost! Pew, pew. Shut it down! <laughs> Good, we drew a blue. We can activate the class. I've got to tell you, that was, um, that was satisfying. Let's see, I played white, 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 black, black, black. Okay. That was satisfying. Nope. Not enough targets. <laughs> yeah, baby. You do nothing. You do absolutely nothing. Damn. They probably do have some sweet dragons in their hand, don't they? We should kill that if we can. But I'm not gonna... Oh, I didn't leave a blue. I played... I thought I left a blue up. I forgot this didn't make blue. The dangers. Hey -ya. Do we hook? Do we hook? I think we hook. Fearsome whelp. You used to be fearsome. Now you're just nerfed whelp. <laughs> yep, a little warlock class damage. Now we have a 2-2. Two -two. I every upkeep I get to watch that go off. Every upkeep I'm reminded that your dragon no work. <laughs> it's beautiful. No, don't. I mean, you could leave, but you're a long way from dead. I mean, is it the token? Is this the win con that you're afraid of? I, I could just draw lands for the next seven turns. Right? Purge me. You got him. <laughs> Token down. Okay. From now on, whenever we draw a card, plus one, plus one counter. It doesn't get old. You mean I get to do it twice? Dubsies? <laughs> they're they're tilting out of their mind. Opponent getting outclassed at every turn. Now they lose double. Nice. Nice. Come on, baby. Lethal on the board. Dude, we didn't even draw Hallowed Haunting! Just wrecked you! With classes and Ray of Frost? Oh, we found it. We found the tech. I wish Ray of Frost... If Ray of Frost enchanted an artifact, it would be amazing. Circle, circle, Ray. Come on, werewolves. Come and get your... Come and get your beating. Good scry, good scry. Crap. Control. Who made a frickin' mill video lately? 
ban them from the ban them. Get them off YouTube. I think we have zero chance here. Absolute zero. I divide it by zero. Get it? Oh, that's a card. Yeah? You want that? Gotta get through it somehow. I mean, they're not gonna get teachings. Would have been a good day to just skip the uh, alchemy queue being full of mill decks. Oh god. They missed the land? They missed the land. Good. I think we take it. I think we take the crab. It's so important to this deck. And we know they have to spend next turn casting sciences, which means they won't have Divide by Zero open, and they don't have a Juari. I'm gonna play this first anyway, but they don't have a Juari. Black, white, blue, go white. I wonder if I had attacked first if they would have done that. Maybe I could have scammed a damage there. You're trash! We have no chance. <laughs> no chance that's what you've got. Up against a machine too strong. We can play the Disciple, or we can play a Circle, make a 1-1, one, one. but then when we play other enchantments, it gets bigger. I'm trying to decide what's the way that actually wins. I guess I'll go with this. But nothing wins. Nothing wins. We can't win. Our opponent's hand is all spells, and they just played their third mother boxin rune crab of the game. Like, seriously. Smooth like butter. They they couldn't miss if they tried. Well, at least they're not all mill and copy mill cards. That that's the bright side right now. They didn't play their crab. Oh, because they're doing this. Okay, they are all mill and copy mill cards. My bad. I did not understand anything. It's a pretty pricey deck. It's got a lot of high CMC. Didn't matter. On the draw, but... I guess we've got interaction, assuming our opponent interacts. Just play some creatures, that's all I'm asking. Okay, it's a start. Would not prefer Ray of Frost against this. It's significantly worse than a circle, you know, something to exile it, but it is what it is. I foretell a card. What do you think that might be? I have no idea. No, I'm not going to Ray of Frost right now. I have standards, okay? Besides, if we get the class down, if we're about to miss a land drop, we can try to draw for it. Mardu. Mardu, I play I Twitch and I foretell something. Seems like the kind of mid-range deck we could spar with.
Okay. Wow. Vigilant? Okay, Ray of Frost, you are not going to hold up this time. We're going to have to play... We want double black for this. We're going to have to play the... Borrowed Time. Single blue is all we need, really. Let's play this on black just to make sure we don't lose it so that we have meat hook options. Aren't you glad we didn't ray of frost it? Tell me you're a gold span gamer. Make my day. Reading the wizard class. Are you going to write of a... <laughs> Some people are just, you know, they're just bored, man. They're, they're like, I haven't made a play in 30 seconds. I better make this one. <laughs> Let's see if they have another thing for this wedding announcement. Yeah, you wouldn't want me having that max hand size. That no max hand size was gonna get ya. White, white, black, black, I guess blue? It doesn't tap it when I play it, because it's not red. But they, there, there's gotta be a red something in this deck. There has to be. Let's foretell this Doom Scar say go. Maybe the opponent wouldn't block there so that they have something to use their right of oblivion with. But if they're that obsessed with hitting the wedding announcement, I just, it's like, that's fine. Okay. Dispute. Right of oblivion is going to be a big pain. We're never going to keep a haunting on the field. How do we have to win? I mean, we're never going to grind through them. I don't think we can. I'm thinking about it. I don't think we can win. Unless they just blow their right of oblivions on, like, stuff they shouldn't. That's our win con? Is them using their right of oblivion poorly? They don't have a permanent right now. I mean, we could play this. They play a permanent. Get rid of it. I guess it takes their whole turn. Make them have it. Make them do it. We got a reader. Wow. I think this is a deck we looked at on stream. Although it has m way more one drops. Maybe an evolution of a Mardu deck we looked at on stream that had showdown with a bunch of three, four, and five cards. I cannot believe the curves people try to play with Showdown. It blows my mind, but I uh, can't stop them, that's for sure. They will do what they will do. Drawing cards might be really nice here. We need them. We don't need that card. Somebody turn this red. Too thick. Good draw. But do I have to doom scar this turn? If I don't, I might take a million. I attack with these one ones. Oh, 
only they didn't have vigilance. So, I could flash this in, which would be pretty funny. Unfortunately, this has vigilance, so it's not going to make a difference there. And it only loses abilities like flying and vigilance if, you know, it's red. And it would make this a 2-2 and it would survive the gas, which would be a cute play. But uh, cute's not right right now, I don't think. We're going to take so much damage if I make that play, and I really want to, to be honest. I also want to play this wedding announcement and draw. But how many spells are they realistically going to cast next turn on this angel? They're, they're like At most, they deal me like seven or eight, right? And I'm still alive. I'm actually talking myself into this, and it's stupid, but whatever. I talked myself into it. That's CGB classic. I found the worst line, and I talked myself into it. Oh my god, sack it to deadly dispute in response. Okay, fine, don't. <laughs> Card. Card. Okay. <laughs> they did it! <laughs> they set up their doom scar! <laughs> <laughs> Out of my way. I have a way to stay. I, I sure got us that time. <laughs> Alright. Now what? Pretty good. So many mascots. Maybe they'll play them. Did you know that my Ray of Frost works on their, one of their mascots? Holy crap, it works on two of their mascots. They're in trouble now. I hope you plus that, and I hope it costs you like seven life. I hope you hit Miria's freaking call. Here they come. Lorehold Campus. Dire times called dire tactics. They've had this right of oblivion. They have left this hallowed haunting on the battlefield for how long? We're on six enchantments. One more enchantment and our creatures fly. Unfortunately, we didn't draw an enchantment, did we? No, we did not. We have this Ray of Frost. We can play it here. Tap that. Then this one flies. Can probably kill the Soren if we can remove it. I don't know, man. This game is already a clown show. Maybe the maybe we'll draw hot. Maybe we'll draw a ray of frost. Three attackers. Our opponent, though, the Soren would survive. Oh, we all fly now. <laughs> Why do I always forget how my cards work? I'm doomed to this life. Dead. I won't let this be over. Cards! Bring forth the cards. Opponent with an interesting play, taking out Hallowed Haunting. <laughs> do you think they read this card, or do you think they spent this whole time not reading this card? Doom Scar! <laughs> are we- we are in a heck of a Doom Scar matchup. Oh god. Um... 
Teleportation circle doesn't have any good plays. So... Okay. You can play your campus. I'd play the campus. Haha, it has won one. How do we create a creature? How do we get a threat going? How do we do it? I kind of want to save this until, you know. But if the opponent oblivions it, I guess great. One less oblivion. I guess I don't mind getting hit for one. What I'm worried about are the frickin' creature lands. We need to be strong in the face of creature lands. I don't have all the lithoform blights and I cut all the field of ruins. Like, I, I actually gutted the deck against that kind of card. I can ray across the creature land. I actually can't Ray of Frost the creature land because the Ray of Frost would fall off after combat, and I know that, but... You know what's going on. You guys are smart. Man, a mana short of being able to do this and this and this? Brutal. But we do have to do that. Got to get a creature on the board. We got to we got to find a way to create some pressure. Good lord. <laughs> no. I want the- I want the draw for it. <laughs> Wait, what? Maybe I don't. Nice one. Our opponent is into the Shuffler's fine content play. <laughs> you should sacrifice your showdown of the Scalds and use Rite of Oblivion on the 3-3 token. That's what you should do. <laughs> you fool! You missed the play! Yes! I don't think I want to play this till I draw, though. I, although drawing here does hit a little harder, but I want to play the procession this turn. Nice. Oh no! They got me! Opponent's freaking me out. They look like they're lining up a Heliod's intervention, and I know that's not in the format, but... They're, they're, they're like, touching every enchantment, you know? Mm, scars ready! I think we've got a... There's, like, seven Doom Scars, at least, in this matchup. Seems good. Never mind. There's another Doom Scar. <laughs> That's mine. All right. So we need to draw like borrowed time. Something like that. Also need to find a way to deal a little more damage. Just it's Doom Scar all the way down. 
Pretty sure that's game. I'm gonna get one more creature off this. It's not gonna help me. Two more creatures, I mean. I'm ready for another Doomscar. All four of them. <laughs> yeah, have some land. 21 cards, 26 for me. I can still draw Borrowed Time. I've only seen one. Would like to have more. Would be nice. They fall to six. Yeah, make sure make sure you flex with Hive. Wouldn't want to miss your four damage here. <laughs> all right, one draw to rule them all. Not much in the graveyard, to be fair. Theirs is looking juicy. But they actually only have 21 cards. Can they actually win the game, though? That's going to be the question. It's going to take a lot of Rite of Oblivion to get rid of all my miscellaneous nonsense. Violence is necessary to set things right. How can I make a whole bunch of creatures? And do they know how Warlock class works? Right now, if one of my own creatures dies, they lose two life. But if if I somehow, like with the anointed procession, make like, if I make two creatures, then they lose four. They go for the hook. It's fine. Why didn't they sacrifice the wizard class? I don't know. I think they're... Mm. This is where a Sangman Brushstroke would be nice. Best draw on the deck. Easy domination here. Wait a minute. Opponent loses four here, right? No, loses one, then two. Opponent loses two here, because something died. Anything that discards in this whole thing that I have to hold this land for? If they somehow make a go-blank appear? I am I actually don't like that. I'm afraid that now they understand they have to get rid of Warlock class. I, I think that actually is bad for me because it puts Warlock class on their radar and it wasn't before. <gasps> Please accidentally take a four drop. Take that showdown. Take that showdown. You know you want it. Don't look at your life total. Take the showdown. Blood for knowledge. That was our out. Fair trade. That was it. Balls. 
Another land? Good god, our draw was bad. Shuffler, why? That's two more life. Okay. Well, well, well. Look at all these sorceries. Four mystery cards, five mystery cards. Not a single instant in their deck outside of Deadly Dispute, to my knowledge. You want to flinch? Can't have them being too big that they don't die to this hook. Oh wait, we have Doomscar. We have Doomscar. We have Doomscar. I don't know what they got. They might have something super sneaky, you know? Holy crap, those are huge. <laughs> those are those are strong. <laughs> wow. Good god. Never! Did it! <laughs> Whoa! Tibble Ultimate ain't nothing, baby! And we are back for the post-game wrap, and let's check the stats, powered by untap.gg, down the link in description. It does support the channel if you get this free companion app. 60% win rate, six and four, and uh, not gonna give away the standard win rate, but if somebody wants to post it in the comments, maybe that will get some traction. You can point out which version of the deck is better, you know, by the scam that are win rates. Anyway, I'll take a 60%er. I'll take a six and four with this deck. It was a lot of fun to play, and while getting like hit on the draw by dragons controlled by is it like I, I expect those matchups to be incredibly hard werewolves just doing their thing that's very difficult but overall the the deck is more fun to play than i would even expect i didn't make a lot of changes as we went through um tried out cards like sanguine brushstroke did not enjoy those you probably noticed from the video did not always have ray of frost definitely had lithoform blight in the deck for a while um but in the end, I think that the version we came to is the better version, and there's always going to be people who are, like, are going to comment, hey, you didn't have Ray of Frost in those videos, you had Lithoform Blight, and I'm like, yeah, I'm really glad I eventually figured out Ray of Frost is good. It's just part of the cost of making videos and trying to find the best deck with a limited amount of time and a small sample size of games. I have to move cards around more than I used to. I used to just lock in a deck after playing it for a few hours and then make a video with that deck, but since we have to have a battle for the channel and I have to make shorter videos, well, smaller sample sizes, more edits on the go. It's just the way it is. It's the cost of the war. And when the war ends, we'll go back to like really investing in the format or something like that. So thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next video and check out some Esper ha Hollowed Haunting. It's actually really fun if you have the mythics and if you like this style, like just strongly recommend it. I screwed up my own outro. You're cool.